Hello Internet, it's Egg and still just me. Uh, it's Factorio again. So, last time I previously discussed the idea that I needed to get the stone factory working in my stuff factory. And I was considering furnaces and uh, other things constructed directly off the furnaces. But then as I thought about it more, I realised that the only things that use just stone are rails, which uses steel and iron as well, and uh, stone furnaces, which I might want to make just so I can have boilers being made, because I think the boilers definitely still use those, don't they? Yeah. And that's it. So, in reality, this line I was going to have stone on, I really don't want to have stone on, I only want that to have smelted, uh, what do you call them, stone bricks. I only want them to have stone bricks on, which makes it more likely that I'll want to put the stone smelting at the top. I mean, in reality, I could put the whole stone thing at the top. That would probably be a better use of space. In fact, thinking about it, if I'm the one thing that I was worried about was advanced circuits. Uh, let me just open the wiki page for that, just to remind myself. Because advanced circuits and stone is what you need for the electric furnace. So maybe we can, instead of building the stone on a line going down here, Maybe instead of doing that, we can just build it up here and take uh, take the uh, advanced circuits directly out of these factories. How long does this take to make five and five? Well, that would be a bit slow. The question is, is it worth being more space efficient in terms of running things on belts, or is it just to be more efficient by not having to change my entire factory around again. <laughs> the classic conundrum. No, I think I'll just do it the way I was going to do it originally. Screw it. I've moved stuff around far too much as it is anyway. So we'll just have the stone come down on this belt. I might be able to fit something in here. Can I fit rails in there? I might be able to fit rails in there. If I had a factory like this, or like this. Because then you could run the steel in on this side. Stone picked up on its way under. Oh, but I, mm, no, there's a bit of a junction there. Never mind. We'll do it. Oh, I guess we can still do rails up here, can't we? That's, that'll be fine. And probably boilers. And then just have the stone go down. Okay, yep, that seems like a plan. So let's start laying out the plan. So now the other question is, what else uses stone bricks directly that I need to worry about? So there's there's the electric furnaces, there's steel furnaces, do I want to do that? Hmm. Hmm. Might be worth having a factory making just a few of those. Oil refineries, walls. And we don't need to worry about concrete here, because that's going to go in the other base. Okay. And that's the other important thing to remember about this version of this base, is that I don't need to worry about making a huge amount of stone bricks here, because they're going to be made at the main smelter instead of being smelted in line down here. So let's see, so oil refineries use 10 in 20, so that's like only one furnace. That'll be fine. 
steel furnaces is ten and three, so as many furnaces as you want, but also don't really need steel furnaces. Ten and five for electric furnaces, as I said last time, so that should be about two to one. And the last thing is walls, so I can just put that however many furnaces I want. So I'm thinking probably we could just run one line, have the stone come in here, have the furnaces be here, and just have the outputs be basically directly above it, depending on how many belts I need to fit. I might have to double slide it possibly. Although again, saying that, there's still a lot of extra belt and extra space that could be compacted easily into one segment up here. Hmm. No, okay, yeah, we're going to do it that way. Just because it will be way more convenient to have inserters being made here, right next to where the cogs are coming out. does mean I'll probably have to shift everything like two squares to the left, but we'll worry about that in a minute. So if we want to make advanced, uh, advanced electric furnaces, we we'll advance circuits in a reasonable amount of time. How do we do that? Because we're going to need two furnaces attached to one factory and then uses five and five, so about one a second. And these are like nowhere near one a second. I mean, we could just split the advanced circuits again, bring them back up, or we could flip this output so that the advanced circuits go out, up, and then around and down. And that could be doable, sort of. Some slightly inconvenient belt arrangements. I move this, move the copper line across one, and then it will fit. That'll probably work. And then we've got this coal that's just cutting across everything at the moment. That's not too inconvenient to just move that, like, up here, probably. And what's this? Uh, that needs to join wherever it joins. That, yeah, that'll be fine. So, uh, this all needs moving slightly across. So it goes like this. And in. And then this will be changed to come downwards. We flip to go upwards. And across. That appears to be reasonable. up this coal line.
Do we need this coal line to be here? That's the question. Well, with this coal line here, I could even run the furnaces for making the stone bricks off coal instead of electric. I mean, I could. Is there really any reason to? I mean, coal is such a plentiful resource. And having electric furnaces would mean I can module them at some point in the future. Why might I need to module them? What am I actually making out of these stone bricks? Furnaces, oil refineries, walls. No, that shouldn't need modelling. Maybe I will do it with stone furnaces instead. Alright, so let's see. We're going to want... So maybe this stone input line can just cut straight across. We'll put the furnaces on the bottom with the stone line coming in here. No, wait, that's not going to work because I need the advanced circuits. It's the other way around. You need the uh, factory for for the uh, factory for the electric furnaces goes there, so it can take off that. Then furnaces goes here. Coal and stone going across. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably all right. Of course, stone, uh, steel furnaces are the same speed as electric furnaces, so the maths is still the same. So I'm probably going to want about two, four, six, eight. I'm going to say. Well, let's make walls. Wait, uh, how much stone does walls take? <laughs> how much stone does walls take? Five per wall. I suppose I could do multiple wall factories. Maybe just two. And then a gate factory as well. We won't really need to think about that. And we need steel as well as advanced circuits for this. So if you split off steel here... Oh, but I also need regular circuits for some of these things, don't I? Well, I can always take them off the end of this advanced circuit line. Oh, let me check these recipes again. Okay, so that's advanced circuits and steel. Oil refinery is steel pipe cogs. Regular circuits. So that's like iron, steel, regular circuits. And then gates is steel and circuits. Yeah, that, that should still be doable. It will be fine. Slightly messy. But probably fine. So do I want to double this belt up? Because I could bring steel and iron in on that belt, maybe. Oh, <laughs> stone bricks is what I'm missing, not any of that other stuff that I just picked up. Let's go deal with that. Oh, no, 
not sure how many stone bricks I've actually got left up here now that I think about it. I disassembled that production line. Oh, <laughs> the answer is in fact none whatsoever. I completely disassembled that production line. Well, let me just build a real fast... Uh, couple of furnaces over here. While I'm standing here thinking about it, this may be a perfect opportunity to experiment with the programmable speaker. Because in theory, I think we should be able to make it so that I can have an alert pop up when these run out. I think mines can be connected to the circuit network now. And they can. on that. Okay. So that should theoretically just create a little alert pop up when that iron patch runs out. these furnaces do I need? Well, I only need eight now because I already made two up there, so we may as well reserve the space for those. So if we're saying factories are going to go here, furnaces are going to go here, Something like that. So stone and coal are going to come in there. Side it, baby. So we're looking at f electric furnaces, steel furnaces. Oil refineries and walls, right? Uh, oil refineries. I can't actually make yet, can I? Because they need a blue, uh, yellow factory. 
bit in order, in order to make the oil refinery, I don't just need circuits, I also need some iron stuff. Pipes and cogs. So if I bring iron in on this belt as well. And then build two factories offset like this, maybe. Those almost certainly don't need to be blue. And what's the last one? Walls. Maybe for walls I will flip it. Oh, but gates need circuits as well, don't they? Okay, let's make... Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to do this so that I don't waste too much belt running circuits around. Because I could run circuits up to here and then have that first one be gates, but then I'd need walls as well. Wait, I know I can get rid of this. Put gates here. Change that one to walls. underground belt for this bit. We need steel and circuits, so... Like that. And out to there. And then these two belts will be extending. That's actually slightly more awkward, isn't it? Wait, no, I can do it with a long inserter. Run those up to there. Oh, I, yeah, but then I can't get the steel, can I? Because that's the only square that I can get the steel off. So maybe I need to make that one the steel furnaces and then make this last one swap that over to being the oil plant. Steel furnaces. Get rid of that. And just have this come in like this. That does kind of simplify this because I can just put these more like that. Something like that. So does that cover everything? Probably. Did I make too many furnaces even though I said I was going to make this? I think I did, didn't I? Oh, never mind. 
And then north of the stone line, we can make the two things that only require stone. Which would be, you want, uh, I've already forgotten, oh, I forgot about landfill. That's another thing that needs stone, but that's fine. What am I trying to make here? Rails and rails and something. Rails, stone furnaces, and then turn the stone furnaces into, yeah, I remember. So you're going to need an iron line coming across here. Do we want maybe two rail factories? Because you do want a lot of rails. So two rail factories, then you're going to want the stone furnace into um, stone furnace into whatever you call it, boiler. And then at the end, you want landfill. Okay, I think that probably makes sense. Getting the iron on that belt is going to be a little awkward. I mean, I can just like run it a little zigzag. I don't normally like the zigzags, but I'll make an exception just because this fits just quite precisely against the top of the railway. Uh, boilers are pipes. So, yeah, not quite like that. More like that. Oh, and those need a <laughs> those need an iron stick factory too, don't they? Uh, should we invert that? <sighs> it's never as easy as it appears. There's always another thing that comes along to mess with your plan. If you don't make adequately planned plans. So can I fit, uh, can't quite fit it there, so if I shift those up, I, it's like, I don't really want to do landfill first, because landfill uses so much stone it will just clear that belt out, which would mean nothing else would get made until the landfills were done. So let's swap these around at least. So it's going to be stone furnace, boiler, iron pipe, and in the two factories for railways. Just reconnect this somewhere. reconnect it in the exact place where I didn't want it that I just removed it from. Smooth. Uh, two factories for iron sticks. Slightly unnecessary, but easier to put the rails into one box, I guess. And that should be it. Okay, landfill, rail, iron sticks, 
pipe. Boiler. Stone fence. And I think that is an adequate plan. Okay. Well, it's been 30 minutes of recording, so now I'm going to go back into sped up footage. I'll probably build some amount more of this factory during that time. Build the uh, inserter factory if I can make a decent arrangement for that. And then there'll be a few other random things that need making that I will need to clear up. But apart from that, it should be all fairly obvious. So let's get into the sped up mode.
Okay, and we're back. Uh, yeah, it's all going reasonably well. I'm most of the way through setting up this freaking ridiculous factory. Most of the way. I'm just fiddling around trying to find appropriate positions to make the last few things. No, nope, not that. That. Yeah, I think it's going okay. I mean, it's not the best laid out factory I've ever made for this purpose, but I think it's fairly decent in its compactness. Uh, was there anything to talk about from the sped up timer? Well, I changed this around again, fiddled with the oil refineries, because I realised that really with uh, flame for ammo being exactly 50 of each, I might as well just have one oil refinery that runs that directly. And then uh, makes extra petroleum gas as necessary. I should probably put some kind of limiter on the input so that it doesn't get completely backed up with petroleum gas. Now I'm trying to think of what kind of limiter. Well, I was also considering whether I might just want to have a, like an, a, either a permanent barrel stash or maybe an output train station to ship it, ship the extra out. Because that would definitely be a way to deal with it. And I could use a, a pump attached to that storage tank to say if that storage tank gets close to full it starts pumping it out into whatever, the train or the barreling. That would probably be a reasonable way to deal with it. Apart from that, I don't think there's been much else particularly interesting happening. I finished up the the insert a factory. Oh, and the alert for the iron ore mine went off. Unfortunately, I, as I discovered, it goes off continuously. Like, the beeping doesn't stop. <laughs> so, essentially, you either want to set it up so that it's on a latch, maybe, so it only triggers once, or it's going to give you a certainly a large amount of motivation to actually go and deal with the problem. Because it won't stop beeping. And it's not like I was using the, the construction warning beep, the one that the logistics robots make when there's a problem. But it doesn't beep like that. It beeps constantly, like the sound effect is on loop rather than spaced out. So it's quite annoying. Um, okay. Oh, so what should I actually get going? Is there anything else in this list that I haven't got a factory set up for that I do need one for? Don't really need to make any combinators or any of that stuff. I guess lamps I could make. But with the night vision I barely need lamps any longer. Although on the video it does kind of come out a bit dark I think, so maybe I should. Uh, we did all that, we did all that. We did those, we did those. Oh, at some point, there's go I'm going to actually build, like how this is the parts factory, I'm going to build the module factory. Which definitely will have oil shipped in, probably. Probably oil. Uh, that's all components. I need to make ammo factories, that's the one thing that I haven't done up here yet. And... That's pretty much it. So what we need is copper and steel, copper and iron. So maybe tag that onto the end of this extension. Hmm. I need to see what is uh is piercing shotgun ammo still the same? You take the shotgun shells, you add more copper and steel, so it's essentially the same as this, right? Yeah. 
apart from that needs covering both steps. Hmm, so do I add it onto the end of this extension or maybe just bring the cop down line down and do another branch? Hmm. Or could I move some of this out of the way? See, that's not even much good because that copper's on the wrong side. Yeah, I think. Get rid of that. These are all fine. Maybe I will just build one more branch and then I can have the solar panels on that branch as well. Just have to make sure I put the belts in the right place. Oh, no, wait. I could adjust this branch to put the iron below instead of above. Would that work? I have iron and circuits coming in down here for the for everything that needs circuits. Then you could fit solar panels in there. That would be fine. I also need to bring gears across, don't I, though? That's the problem. No, okay, we'll keep it relatively in line and just make one more branch down the bottom. Uh, can I get one of these blueprints blanked rather than creating yet another one? Uh, any of these that are not particularly useful any longer? Mm, no, not really. Uh, okay, I'll just make a new one then. Shift all this back up here. Uh, that needs to be pipes. And we're bringing gears and circuits along here. Okay. Oof. Uh, split the circuits at the top. And gears at the bottom. Circuits only needs to go to here, gears needs to go whoop, all the way along. Okay. So if we want solar panels, what did I say it was? It's circuits, steel and copper. Maybe I can still fit them here. If I just run that steel all the way along. I mean, that may be a bit excessive. But what are the other things I'm trying to make? Ammo. So we need just iron, then you take that and it adds steel and copper. This is iron and copper, and then you add steel and copper again. So you're going to want steel and copper on one and iron on the other. Okay. Hmm. 
So is there anything else that I can make that will only take circuits, gears, and one of the other resources? Probably iron. Because I could take, say, these, move them down here, and then when the copper splits off, put that in the bottom. No. No. This is just kind of messy. Okay, so... It, mm. I have all the stuff I need for the ammo right here, don't I? So if I just run these belts along and then just build the ammo at this point, that, then that should actually work. You just want it set up like uh, like this, maybe? The piercing. Oh, should I do double piercing or single piercing? I mean, I don't need that much ammo. Should only need one factory for the for the shotgun ammo. Hmm. And then we'll bring in another iron belt from the bottom or the top. it like this. This coming in here and then iron going like that probably. Probably even through and then down to the two other factories. Oh wait, but that one needs copper so that's actually got to go up here. Here. That needs access to iron and steel. No, wait, copper and iron, so we can just bring that... Bring that around the side. Okay, so that'll be shotgun into piercing shotgun. Regular ammo into piercing ammo. I guess I can just make them tier 3 factories and jam speed modules in them if I really need that much. I mean, I shouldn't do. Because at some point I'll upgrade all my war guns to lasers and... Generally then I'll not need as much regular ammo. Yeah, I think that'll do. And then since I've extended that line up here, I could put solar panels up here at the end. Mm. Apart from solar panels, did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Steel, copper, and circuits. No, I think the solar panels will go on this little outcrop. This might get awkward when I try and put a logistics zone over it, because I'll probably need some kind of extra one. Oh, actually, no, yeah, putting one there will probably do. And then one in the middle, one over on this side. One somewhere up here at the top, and then there'll be a train station probably over here actually for the output train station. And I need some more assemblers. Guns and guns. And solar panels, and solar panels. Hmm... Is there a better way to arrange that 
It'll make it take slightly less belt. <laughs> across like this and couple will just make a little a mini split maybe yeah let's just do it with a <laughs> let's just do it with the tiniest possible splitter there right that's good guns ammo yep we're good uh, we're going to need a box to put that in. Box. Uh, shotgun ammo for now. We'll just like stick in another box down here. Oh. And I should probably finish up this episode. Um, so, summing it up, next episode, or the end of this episode, we're pretty much done with this factory. Next episode, we might finally, finally, be getting back to the labs slash smelters. Probably set up the uh, stone cooking first, get the bricks and concrete going, and another train stop there for loading. And then finally I'll start building the actual labs. Oh, wait, hmm. <laughs> I say that, but now that I think about it, there's, there's still the oil situation to deal with. Well, you know, it's better just to build the labs first and then run the oil into it once I get there. Or is it, wait, no? <laughs> oh, indecision. <laughs> well, anyway, find out next time in the next part of Factorio. For the meantime, let's put some social stuff on the screen. Um, it's happysand.net for our podcast. Uh, every two weeks. It's facebook.com slash happysand.net for whatever's on the Facebook. And it's at saladcast for the Twitters, which will tell you when our podcasts are uploaded. And that's the end of this episode. See you next time.